Hello, my creative friends. My name is Heather North. You can find me on Instagram at Heather's Creative Blessings. I am here with floss tube number 17, I think. And that means this will be my video mainly about what's been going on in my cross stitching world. Today is Wednesday, March 17th, 2021. So it's St. Patrick's Day when I'm filming this. I wore the green. Actually, this is the second shirt I've had on today because I had taco salad for lunch and I spilled. Of course, I spilled. <laughs> it's been a really good stitching week. I have, I believe two, I'm gonna to check to make sure. Um, one, two, three, three new finishes and two new starts. Yes, two new starts. I felt like I had gotten enough finished that I was ready to add in some new starts. But let's start with March Madness. So I am participating in March Madness. It's a little bit different than the way the Steel City Stitchers set it up. So if you're curious about what March Madness is for the cross stitching world, check out Steel City Stitchers here on YouTube and they have information about everything that they're doing. I decided that I wanted to get more of my whips that were close to a finish to the finish line. That is my main goal for this month. Their main goal is to have one project be fully finished. And I I will try to get it fully finished as well, but my main goal was to get the, um, I had close to a dozen um, cross stitch pieces that were very, very close to finish. So right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've completed eight so far in March, which is really incredible. And I've only started two new, so I'm on a good path here. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of go through um, in the order that I pull these things out, uh, but mostly it'll be March Madness stuff. I pulled out my Cozy Winter Wishes. This is, from, oops, let me make sure I'm not showing the pattern, from White House Stitchery. We're doing a stitch along on Instagram. So hashtag Cozy Winter Wishes Sal, if you wanna participate. You can find um, her pattern on Etsy, very reasonably priced, isn't that cute? And I am doing it on Hazy Gray Ada, I think it's only 14 count Ada from Fabric Flare. I've gotten lots of compliments on the Ada. The one thing I will say though, is that um, it does have some half stitches and quarter or three quarter stitches. So it might be easier to work on an even weave where you're going over two, but I mean, it was easy enough to make it work. I am almost in this final stretch. So I was kind of hoping I would get this entire thing done, but I really only pulled it out a couple of times, short stitching sessions, but it's so close to being done and it's so cute. Isn't that cute? Oh, Heather is just a wonderful designer. She's come out with several new things that I want to stitch as well. So I think I'm going to have the White House Stitchery on a constant um, repeat <laughs> as far as things that I am stitching. Oh, that's the dog. Uh, the little dog this time. The other ones are asleep. It's been quite a morning around here. Um, ended up with me in the shower in tears. <laughs> <laughs> not a great morning oh but it's a great afternoon they're asleep <laughs> oh but the little shih tzu's here chewing on one of their bones okay next up this is not on my um it's not on my whip go it's not on my march madness but it is one of the whips i have going that i'm trying to put in a few stitches um, or a length of thread at least a few times a week. And that is the Cross Stitch Nation by Heartstring Samplery. And I am changing up the colors or at least changing where I put them. I got that top row of flowers done and started in on the words. Oops. Do you have threads hanging out all over your house and body and furniture? So yeah, I put in all of 13, I can't really see if it's showing, all 13 of those flowers, stems and leaves. And then I came down here, started the words. I actually 
pulled out taffeta from Weeks Dye Works. So that's the color I'm using. And I'm doing one over two. It's my first time really doing an entire piece one over two. And I like the... I like the difference in it. I really do. I think there's a, t there's a place for everything, right? In cross stitch. And I am loving this particular piece. So that was cross stitch nation from heartstring samplery. And my main goal was to finish all of those, um, flowers this week. So I did good flowers and then started in on the words. Not sure about my color choice there, but I'm going with it. It's a little bit darker is the only thing because it's closer to black in my opinion. The next three are finishes. And I just realized I left two patterns out in the living room. So I'm going to have to go grab them. Um, my next piece is the Lori Holt Sew by Row. And I have another finish. This is a sew by row stitch along that was being done by um, Lori and Kimberly Jolly um, Fat Quarter Shop with the hashtag sew by row sale. And I changed almost all the colors <laughs> in mine, but this is my finish. So, um, I added in, the last thing to add in were these, um, pins and I was thinking about using, I have the DMC, um, kind of the metallic thread. I thought about using that or some Krynik, but in the end, I just went with what I had been using for all of these little hash marks and the other pins. But that is my finish. And you know, I'm thinking about doing a couple of things. I have a couple of mini quilts for my sewing room. I'm thinking about turning this into just a mini quilt to put on the wall. But I've also thought about making an actual quilt using things like this and the, um, what was that quilted heart? Stitches from the heart block that kind of looks like a quilt. And I also have another, I think it's another Lori Holt pattern or an It's So Emma pattern that has a big sewing machine. So she can, that's what it's called. So she can, um, that might be something else that I could put into that quilt. So I'm just kind of, I don't know, playing around with what to do with the finish, which is another reason I didn't follow the March madness because, um, I don't quite know what I'm doing as far as finishing everything. And it's like, Oh, it's too much pressure to try and decide. Uh, so that was so by row. The next thing. So last weekend was whip go weekend. That's whips in progress, like a bingo board, but it's whip go. Jesse Marie does stuff, puts it on. And there's a whip go weekend where you can go on Facebook and put your weekend goals and your progress and your finishes. And so for my, I think the numbers were number 10 and number 24. And for my number 10, I had the, I love fall and, um, thankful and blessed. I showed you last week, I finished both of those. So both projects were completely done. So I decided that for Whipco weekend, I would pull out winter notes, which is a number that was called earlier. I think this was my number three, um, on my Whipco board by Shepherd's Bush. And I decided I'd work on it for an hour this weekend. Now the plan was we were going to be gone to ocean shores on Sunday, but it ended up being really rainy and my allergies are so bad. They give me a headache. Um, cause it's been sunny until Sunday. It was raining <laughs> and then it's been sunny the last few days. So my allergies have been in and out kind of gives me headache when headaches, when the weather changes like that too. So I ended up having more time than I planned on. And not only did I stitch on this for an hour, I got this completely done. So this was another piece on my March Madness board as well as my whip go board. And I'll hold it up with this here. Look, it's done. So I picked this because it says the north wind doth blow. And uh, we are a family of norths. <laughs> so it just seemed appropriate. And I think I got this as a Christmas gift. Um, or right around Christmas time. So I was really excited to start it and finish it. And uh, yeah, I think it was a Christmas 
Christmas time start. So I didn't have it on my WIPCO board to begin with, but I really did want to get it done. So that is another finish. I am loving this whole getting everything finished. Um, I even this last night pulled out something that wasn't on any of my boards anywhere. I was just gonna put away till maybe next Christmas and got some more stitching done on that. So I just feel like I'm making a lot of progress, which is more fun than, well, not more fun than starting everything, but it is fun to have them close to being done. So the next one, this is my number 24. It's by Little House Needlework called Bringing Home the Tree. I did my color street nails today. <laughs> See how long they last. <laughs> um, yeah, so I got this to a finish as well. So my goal for the Whipco board was to complete any Little House Needlework small block or if I had any any Needle House, Little House Needleworks whip to bring that to a finish. So this one, I didn't have very much done to start with, but it is completely done. And is it not too stinking cute? I made one color change with this. Let's see if it's still in here. Um, nope, I must have taken it out. Um, but for her earmuffs, it was supposed to be this darker, I think, I think is DMC 3031. And I thought, wouldn't it be cute if she had kind of little um, light blue earmuffs? So I added that and I thought, well, that can't be the only light blue. So I added light blue to this house instead of a white trim. And um, it was color and cotton pewter. So it is, more, it's a silver, but it's it reads blue with this piece. And this is on Desert Irisy, um Lugana, so it has that opalescent to it, which is very snowy and icy. Eek. Okay. My next whip, I have to go out and get it in the other room. So I will be right back. See if the cat entertains you. Whew, probably have to edit that one out if I can, huh, which makes it take longer upload so I had all those whips completed and I wanted to keep up with the whips um, even though I was tempted to start all the things um, I know I'm gonna be starting a lot in in May so I'm trying to pace myself but this is Merry Christmas by Cherry Hill Stitchery so I pulled that out last night and a little bit this morning most of the morning was spent chasing the dogs around the yard, but <laughs> I added all this red with the scarf and um, the white here, the red here, and then these are the strings for the ice skates. So it's coming along nicely. Um, oops, still have a little ways to go to finish, but the words are gonna go pretty quickly. So yeah, it's, it's a sweet little project and it was fun to pull that out and make a little more progress on it, even though it wasn't really in my plans for this month. Every stitch is a good stitch, right? Except the stitches you have to pull out. <laughs> I was thinking this week, if I did if I did everything right the first time, then I wouldn't have to do so much ripping and I could get a whole lot more done. I could get a whole lot more done if I could just not make mistakes. <laughs> So this is um, my first new start of March. I want to say January for some reason, probably because I had done a January sampler and I don't want to get it all. Here we go. Um, so this is by Country Cottage Needleworks. I'm looking for the picture. Sorry, guys. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Gotta move stuff around so I don't show you the pattern. Um, so this is in my Dot Dot Goose Designs bag, very full as you can see. Uh, this is my sampler of the month, January, no, this is April. April Samplers, Country Cottage Needleworks. I'm in the club from Fat Quarter Shop. And that means that every month they send me the chart. In the beginning, we got the fabric and the, um, the floss. 
And I shared with you my struggles with the fabric. And this month I decided, you know what? I'm just going to scrap the fabric. Because it's silly to keep working on something that is difficult for me to work on and then not do this because I'm not enjoying the fabric. So I pulled out 28 count um, aqua hand dyed from Fabric Flare and I changed out some of the colors. So this is what I have. <laughs> Look at the bunnies and the chickies. <laughs> is it not cute? So let me show you this first because I think I actually started I did this is peony so this is by be stitch me and I did this colors kind of weird in here so pull it back but I just did that top leaf and branch border and then I was pulling out the threads so I have them here in my pal and the problem was I didn't want to do an orange house. April is my birthday month. So this is kind of for me. So I thought, oh, you know what? Let's do purple. I love purple. But then I pulled out, um, when I pulled out the colors, they just didn't look right on there. So uh, you can see, no, you can't see. I had started um, doing the, and I pulled it out, but I did the first flower and I think it's in pink. Yes, it's in pink. And it looks okay when it's just like this, right? But when I was stitching on it, it disappeared. You couldn't even see it. And then I tried several different purples and I just didn't like it. And I was having to change more and more and more. And I thought, you know, it's just, I'm gonna restart it. I'll use this for something else. But it wasn't going to work without making a lot more changes than I really wanted to make. I didn't want to overthink this thing, right? <laughs> so that's when I pulled out the aqua hand dyed or dyed effects from Fabric Flare. This is part of that haul I got from Fabric Flare directly. And I, so I stitched this in white and I don't know what, yeah, you can see it on the camera, but in person, it kind of blends in with the white cloudy effect of the background. So I went and added Classic Colorworks Fleur de Lilac. And it's a light purple, light lilac. Um, and I replaced it here. So I think I'll probably go up and replace this white up here as well because it just doesn't show up in person as much as I would like it to. And it'll give the whole piece a little more of a purple feel. And I haven't decided whether I'm going to do the words um, April in the white so that it blends back or go again with that, um, with the lilac. I don't know, but I'm loving it so much more and it's going so much faster because I'm enjoying the fabric. And part of the problem, um, I discussed the feel of that fabric, but part of the problem was that the club was either Ada or linen and I hadn't really done linen before, so I did Ada. And there are half stitches and back stitches. Is it half? It's not half stitches. It's the uh, the French knots. That's what it was. The French knots really, really difficult for me to do on Ada. So I thought I'm just gonna pull this out, and I want to worry about those half quarter three quarter stitches or French knots or um, back stitches that are kind of in the middle of the window panes. And so they're, I mean, they're there to make window panes, but they're kind of in the middle. It was just too much. I prefer having a higher count over two for that kind of a thing. So I did. And I don't know if I will end up using all that fabric, which makes me a little bit sad. Like I, maybe I wasted the money to buy the kit maybe should have just done it individually I don't know but you might see that in a future giveaway because <laughs> um, not the peony but the what is this called I don't want to say because I was not saying great things about it but this Ada um, yeah that was my January sampler which I did do that and showed you earlier so that was one of my new starts. And then my second new start, um, I forgot to share, and I have it here, because I said I was going to last week, and then I didn't. Oh, come on, it was right here. 
Where did you go, little 310? 310, that's not it, that's not, here you are. Okay, so this is what I meant to share last week. I ordered from Keepsakes in Cincinnati, Ohio. I called and talked to Steph, um, Stephanie Schaefer of Just Keep Stitching, Pam is Steph, and um, was asking her about 36 count because I kind of wanted to make the leap to try. 36 count, sorry, there's count right under my feet, um, linen. And so I asked them to kit up the always, I need to turn around because it's this way. It's the always celebration small that came from, hello from Liz Matthews newsletter. Um, with, I asked them to give me two different linens, thir both 36 count, but two different colors for me to try out in a fat eighth, I want to say. Um, and then either the called for floss or close to it with this. And so they sent it to me and it came with, came with the little card. And then on the back, this is what I'd want to show you. Um, there's 310, their cat, they named 310 because DMC 310 is black and their cat is black. And they actually had a celebration day for him on March 10th, which I thought was super cute. So yeah, their website and everything is there if you want to call them. They will kit things up for you. Um, if there's something you wanted from market, you can give them a call. In fact, I need to call them because of course after market, I saw things I wanted to get and didn't. And last week I showed you the fabric. Let's see. And the one I decided to use was the 36 count Affogato. I wanna say it's fiber on a whim. I'm just guessing now, but the F-O-A-W -A -A is for fiber on a whim, but it is the linen. And then the fab, or not the fabric, the floss they sent is classic color works tartan plaid, which is a beautiful blue green. And this is what I have so, oops, it's caught on the pin. This is what I have so far. <laughs> Boy, we got far, didn't we? <laughs> oh, the little arrow and the start of the A. I've got half of the A done. And I was shocked to discover that I that 36 count wasn't that bad. And I actually stitched in hand because I wasn't even thinking about it and just started the way I normally do. And you know, that makes it a little bit flopsy. I did use my Halo Go lamp, um, but I could see the threads and I was stitching on it at night last night. I will say my eyes got a little bit tired. I'm not used to using that small of, or seeing that small of a count. So my eyes were a little bit strained, but I think um, as Steph, Stephanie said that the more I work on it, the more comfortable I'll get and the easier it will become. And I can definitely see that. Very nice, high quality, it must be Zweigart because as she told me, it's got that orange thread through the, um, Oh, now I forgot the name. What is this called? The salvage edge. But that's my affogato and tartan plaid. Loving it. Lovely. So thank you, Liz Matthews, for that free chart. Thank you, Keepsakes, for putting it together for me. So much fun. And it's just fun knowing that um, this was kind of put together by other stitchers. You know what I mean? So... Those are my two new starts. Okay, that's all I have for stitching. As far as, um, or cross stitching, as far as happy mail goes, I I got the new threads. The Classic Color Works released three new threads at market and I absolutely love them. They're already upstairs. Um, and I got another thread that Denali got off of the table and was eating it. I saw this thread sticking out and I had to pull it out of her mouth. That thread is done for. That is the biggest, one side was in the biggest knot possible and the other was like flossing her tooth. <laughs> I think it was um, gassed blue spruce or something like that. I kept what was left of the tag so I'll have to order it again. <laughs> So I can't show you that, and I'm sure you've seen the others. The other thing that came was, um, this is called Liberty Lodge from Plum Street Samplers. I don't know that this is a new thing. This has probably been around for a while, but I love, 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 love the little truck, Grandpa's truck we've talked about before, and it has a bald eagle. 
So uh, along with a flag, I just thought this would be great. This probably won't be stitched until maybe it'll be part of my July stitching or June or July, but I just had to have it. So I got it. <laughs> okay, I got interrupted a few times, so let me start this again. I have joined, or joined a while ago, the tagged Sweetwater Label Club. Kimberly was talking about it on her floss tube, and so I love this idea. You, every month, I think it's every month, might be quarterly, but I think it's every month, she sends you personalized labels that you can then attach to your projects, your quilts or whatever, and they are like an iron-on adhesive on the back, so you could just iron them onto your project, quilt over it, or you can sew them into your project as well because they're printed on fabric. And so this month, she um, sent this with the club. Well, let me show you the labels first. So they come in this little bag with instructions, and this month she sent, and they're different sizes. Each month it's kind of different sizes, different styles. But when I saw these, and you can see the fonts are different, so you can just get a sampling of what she has to offer. And then you can order them. Um, what she's starting now is if you're in the tagged club, you can custom order uh, projects that were exclusive to the club members. So that's pretty exciting. I'm going to go on there, and I love this label that's on the cover. Isn't that cute? But this one... Um, when I saw it, I just thought, ooh, that is the perfect size to put on my project bags that I've been making for cross stitch. Because um, they're small enough that they will fit on there. And that way I can kind of keep track of what's, not that I'll forget what's mine and what I've bought like from Dot Dog Goose Designs. There are other companies I'll probably buy from in the future. But I just kind of like having my label just, I don't know, for myself and anyone else I give it to, to have my name on it. So I thought that was really cool. I'm gonna probably order more of these. And that's why I'm sharing this here with you because um, you, if you make your own labels or even the your own labels, if you make your own project bags, you may wanna put labels on them. And did I say this is printed on fabric? So that's why you can sew it into your project or the back, I'll show you, you can see it's kind of shiny. You iron it on and it will stick. And you can do both so that it really stays in there. But even if you don't make the bag, you just, maybe you go to quilting, not quilting, cross stitch retreats. You get together with other people or you take your bag with you maybe to the kids baseball practice and you just don't want it to get lost or so people will know who to return it to. You can put this label on any of your bags, right? And it doesn't just have to be project bags. So I thought I would mention that. And she just started this month a new rewards program, which um, after I had already planned on telling you about this, I thought, oh, I'll tell you about this and I will let you know um, I'd let you know anyways, but you can find her at www.thesweetwaterco.com and on Instagram at Sweetwater Fabric. So I'll link that um, or I'll write it down in the description below. But if you decide to get these labels, will you please let me know because I can get rewards for people who sign up. So referral list, if you sign up between February 20th and April 15th, 2021. So even if you don't, it's just a really nice little club. And you can also, you she does sell customized labels. So if you don't want to get in the club and you don't want to get them, them sent to you monthly or just the exclusive things, she has labels that are available for everyone. So it's worth checking out if you have anything you might want a fabric label added to. <laughs> so that is that. And the last thing I want to show this is, um, if you're not a cross stitcher, then I guess we're done. <laughs> this is, this is definitely stitching related. Um, I was watching crafty cottage stitchers, um, Jeanette and Heather on Sunday, and they were showing all of the different things that they have been sewing. And I was inspired to just go into the sewing room since my plans had gotten changed for Sunday. And I stitched up, I have all of the blocks now for the Jelly Snowflake Mystery Quilt Along Fat Quarter Shop did last July. 
Um, I have all of the blocks done, the individual blocks, and now I'm putting them into the big, whoops, there's four big blocks and then four skinny blocks. The four skinny blocks are already done, but um, four big blocks and then uh, like a sashing or something around the outside. So I have two of those big blocks put together. I thought I would just share them with you. Um, I put this away in July or August, um, when I had surgery, I stopped sewing and the dogs were too big and I just couldn't go in there. So I had to do it while they are asleep for sure. I don't want them anywhere near the iron or the ironing board. So this is block one and actually it goes like this. I guess it doesn't really matter. And this is block two. So I really wanted to put pink snowflakes on there and I did. So now I have, they were up here before, but now I've got these two blocks and I think, yeah, I just have these two blocks done. <sighs> One more good sewing, cause I also sewed all of these. So I sewed four of these blocks and I changed what I had done. I had started it and I restarted it. Anyways, um, I did those as well. So one more sewing session and the top should be done. And I don't know, I'll quilt it probably on my home machine because it should be small enough that that will be doable. So that is all I have for this week. Another shorter video, especially once I edit out all the getting up and down. <laughs> and um, you don't, you don't want to see that, right? <laughs> I waited for the phone and the answer machine to pick up whatever. I hope you guys are having a great week. I hope that March has just been very good and very kind to you. We have rain coming for the rest of the week. It's supposed to be a rainy weekend, but we have projects we need to do outside, so we'll see what happens. It's nice though when it's raining. I love sewing when it's raining and cross-stitching as well, so see if I get to a finish. I still haven't posted on Instagram, but I will be posting soon. I think I'm just going to wait until I get, there's only two more projects that for sure, for sure I want to get done in March. So I think I might wait until I get those two projects done and then just do a poll to see what you guys like with at least four of them, because the first four that finished are the ones I for sure um, am going to put into the poll on Instagram, which I still haven't figured out how to do. I think I need to think I need to mesh the pictures together or take a picture of both of them at the same time and I don't have any with the two pictures at the same time because I have seen the button to add the poll. <laughs> oh sometimes I feel so far behind technologically speaking and sometimes I'm like oh yeah I'm on top of my game and then I'm like oh no no I'm not <laughs> the next week. So I hope you guys have a great stitching week and I will see you next time. Bye.